It's 2.30 in the morning, why not play a video game? <laughs> oh man. I love my sleep schedule, it's amazing. Illusion of Gaia. Alright, so I played this shit yesterday. <clears throat> and, uh... <laughs> it didn't work out too well. So we're gonna try it again. And we're gonna do it from the beginning. My name is Will. A year has passed since I went to the Tower of Babel with my father. <laughs> my father and his party met with disaster. Somehow I made it back to South Cape. Still can't believe my father is gone. But I'll never believe it. When I grow up, I'll be an explorer and see the world. Somewhere, I will meet my father. Yes, silver hair, bull cut monk. Demons have appeared outside of town. If you go very far, you must go with your parents. I don't have parents. Didn't you just hear my backstory? <laughs> I'll see you guys at the usual place. I have to go home first. I'll see you guys there later. Where later? If you don't hurry home, your mother will think that you were kept after school. He 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 he. Like always, the cave at the seashore. Oh, okay. Cool. Talk to you. No. I don't think I will. I don't have to talk to you, but I did find a red jewel. Dark space. I mean, imagine going through like a space doorway and just seeing this thing chilling up on a pedestal. Would you really be into talking? I don't know if I would. I'd be freaking the fuck out, honestly. Yes, record. Yeah, I, I wonder what happened if I would have said no. <laughs> you just like tentacle rape me or. You look like a fast runner. Oh, thanks for noticing. Hey, what are you doing? Smoking pot? I see those two plants in the corners. This is my house. The pie that Grandma Lola is making smells really great. Will's house. Welcome home, Will. Dinner isn't ready yet. Go outside and play for a while. Oh. Okay. Who are you? Blue hair mustachio man. Will, coming home at this hour probably means you had to stay after school again. Aha, excellent. Even if a boy can't study, he should show a little initiative. You're not all there, are you? Okay, well, let's go out and play. Okay, he's busy smoking pot. This guy just won't let me through. He's making out. Take the fucking scarf off. <laughs> there ends the dilemma. This is the biggest house in South Cape. Well envied people born to rich families. Oh, okay. So I'm like that, huh? It's the little things in life that make you rich or poor. 
Well, I heard any good stories. Yeah, about the bitch that tried to fucking justify being rich to a poor person. Eric's father. Everyone is jealous of this big house. It's nothing. We moved to this town before everyone else. Yeah, before all the property values went up. I get it. Oh! What? Don't worry, I'm not on fire. <laughs> Just a treatment for my sore body. Cleaning this big house all day makes my brain ache. You telepath? You clean this place with your mind? What the f- Okay. Thought she was smoking hella weed. Southgate. One, two, three, four, five. It's like red light, green light. Okay. Squid game. How long have we been playing this? I don't know. Eee, clunk. Oh no. What are you doing, this child, honestly? I mean, she does have a right to be pissed. I, <laughs> I did almost crush her. This is Lance's house. He lives with his frail mother. Father has been lost to the Tower of Babel for a year now. It seems like only yesterday. Whoa, she followed me down here. What do you want? Got a red jewel. Astronomer friend said something very strange. A star is approaching the Earth. Yeah, well, your astronomer friend's an idiot. Feel sorry for Seth. I understand why he hates to see his parents fighting every day. What? Do you like my sea breeze hair? My Jonathan Taylor Thomas haircut? <laughs> Fucking tiger beat haircut? Whoa, what? Hi. No sooner was the door to Seth's house open than a jar came flying out and bashed a small child in the face. What's wrong with having a little fun with my hard-earned money? I mean, yeah. It's no joke, that man. I put up with it for Seth's sake, but if it weren't for him, I'd left long ago. Look at your own money. Dude wants to spend shit. As long as he's not like screwing people over on the bills and stuff. Should be perfectly fine. Gosh, I can't pull it up. I got pills for that. Secret cave. It was natural for the four friends to call this seaside cave their second home. <laughs> Half of them never really had a first home. Usually when lessons were done at school, they gathered there to talk and play games until sundown. Oh, cool. What is it? Well, it's late. I'm playing cards with Seth. Wait a minute. Okay. Can't walk and chew bubblegum at the same time? Come on. Ah ha ha. I'm going to win again for sure. I'm stuck. Oh. So, oh, I was reading that. Cool. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> news! Big news! The Princess of Edward Castle has run away. They say she came to South Cape. The end. Oh, okay, that's all? Came in such a hurry that I thought something really big had happened. Yeah. The Princess is probably that spoiled girl, Kara. The one you like so much. Liar! Maybe the soldiers will look for her. Oh, well, come here looking for her. The soldiers from Edward Castle look so cool. I want a steel helmet too. And conversation done. I'm not interested in girls. <laughs> A. 
Okay. <laughs> I like adventures better. Oh, that what they're going. And I thought everyone would be surprised. What, that this guy doesn't like girls? Well, get over here and sit next to Eric. Everyone's here, what should we do today? Um... I don't know. I want to see Will's mysterious power. Okay, hey. We're not gonna be... <laughs> you haven't seen it? He can move things without touching them. He moved the statue that's in the corner of the cave. Show me again. Oh, it moved! How many times I see it, I'm still amazed. Oops. Why can you move the statue when you can't move anything else? What? Oh, I don't know. Pick a card, any card. I'll put four cards face down, pick the one you think is the Ace of Diamonds. Pick the one you think is the ace of Yeah, we already established that. Um, where do you go with this one? Will picks up a card. That's the Ace of Diamonds, of course! Ah! Right! I'm speechless. No, you're not. He set this as some type of psychic power, right? Yeah, it must be some kind of psychic power thing. If I didn't know better, I'd think it was magic. Most people have five senses. Sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch. I think Will's psychic power is some kind of sixth sense. I was gonna make a reference about ghosts, but no, fuck it. What Seth says is too complicated for me to understand. How is it too... If only I could do that, I wouldn't be impotent. <laughs> Okay, fuck this. I'm gonna go do something else. Hurry up, asshole! Um, I'll just go up here. Grandma! Put some clothes on. Pig's wrecking the room. Why is there a pig in my house? Oh, let's ask him. Boink. Got to the bottom of that. Skrrr. Hamlet! <laughs> shouldn't snort at strange- yeah, you shouldn't push them across the room like that either. Is this your house? Uh, yeah, so... Frankly, you look a little shabby. Well, excuse me, princess. Your father, mother, not here, huh? Nope. We're all alone. <laughs> this is this a picture of your parents? I don't know. My father's an explorer. He... Dot, 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 dot. I know. Omen the Explorer. They say he was lost. He'll come back someday. Are you sad? No. I'd be sad if it were me. I'm sorry. Wait, is there a piano here? <laughs> what an odd question. No, there isn't, but Grandma Lola is a great singer. They're singing upstairs now. They have such loud voices. Oh, let's go have a party. Welcome home, Will. When I sing opera, I lose track of the time. Dinner's not ready yet. Oh, I'm lazy bitch! Oh my, I haven't sung like this in a long time. Grandmother Lola used to be a singer. I fell in love with her voice. That's why I married her. Think of a couple other things. Ah ha ha. <laughs> oh you. Bringing up a thing like that. Well, you shouldn't be surprised to hear that. I'm I'm not. The girl who was singing with me a minute ago. That that that. No. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> She's skipping down the street. A scream from downstairs. 
I don't everybody react all at once. It's that girl screaming. Alright, well Oh. Princess, I've been looking for you. I don't know you, be gone. Stranger danger. What are you saying? If I don't take you home, I'll lose my head? What do I care if you lose your head? Wow, that's kind of a douche move. Princess! Do you think I have nothing better to do than chase you down? I must take you home. It's the king's orders. I'll just drag her out by the fucking back of her head. That's cool. I'm sorry I lied to you. I'm King Edward's daughter, Kara. <laughs> Alright. Well, I feel as though we've met before, as if we were good friends, I guess. We're kind of a bitch. So, that girl likes to play practical jokes. <laughs> Alright. Edward Castle, there's a big viaduct under the castle. Grandfather designed it. What? Really? What does that have to do with anything that I would have wanted to fucking ask you or say? You brought that up strangely, Grandma. I used to be an architect. There's a prison under the castle. It's built like a maze to keep the prisoners from escaping. I feel bad that I built a prison where people disappear and are never heard from again. Enough serious talk. Let's eat dinner. I've made a delicious pie. Pie for dinner? I like this family. Let's sit at the table upstairs. Why? We're at the table downstairs. We sat down to feast of sna snail pie? Alright. It's got whipped cream. I guess that'll... Sure. I only got one piece, but Grandpa Bill ate half the pie, that fat bastard. That night Will dreamed that Kara... Kara? Kara? Let's call her Kara. And he took a trip around the world. He has one around the world, though. And the next morning, something began to happen. <laughs> I bet it did. Uh, what are you guys still doing up? I had more snail pie for breakfast. I left you a slice. Oh, you're so fat. I hate you, Grandpa. Good morning, Well, A letter has come for you from King Edward. This is what is written in the letter. Bring the crystal ring from Omen's things to Edward Castle, King Edward. I've been in a bad mood ever since I saw this letter. Oh, well, I'll teach you a spell. When I'm upset, humming this tune makes me feel better. Lola hummed a strange melody. That's pretty. Even though Will had never heard it before, it seemed oddly familiar. You learned Lola's melody. Cool. Thanks, Grandma. Be careful. Alright. Next time, make more snail pie. This bitch. Fuck out of my way. King Edward has summoned you to the castle. Well, just be careful. Careful of the king? Alright. This is King Edward's castle. I must report this intrusion. Intrusion? Will shows a letter to the guard. I guess to the king? I'm sorry, you may pass. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Don't raise your voice and mind your manners. In exchange, I will give you one red jewel. Sweet. So, you're Will. 
was summoned by King Edward. Be careful when you meet with him. Why? Is he like really touchy or something? I, I love you. Wait. Well, he's shy. I'm glad that somewhere in the world there is someone who is thinking of me. What? All right. Pretty. This is the princess's room. Strangers can't enter. Who is it? It's a royal booty call. Guest? This is just a shabby boy. Hey! It's me, Kara. Oh, that voice. Let him in, or I'll tell everyone your old nickname. What? Oh, pardon me. Please enter. Yeah, that's right, bitch. You, yesterday. <laughs> I was told to bring the crystal ring to King Edward. Oh, I made you jump. Terrible! It's terrible! Again, my father is trying to take something important from someone. How do you know it's important? I've escaped from the castle before, and now they won't let me go out. Recently, something very strange has happened in the castle. My mother has hired a famous hunter. It's ominous. Princess, let's go! I feel scared. <laughs> Help, I'm scared! My father and mother seem to have changed. Please save me. Take me out of here, please. Princess. Please come back, Will. Out of the way. The interview room is before you. Climb the stairs to meet the king. So, you are well. How does everybody know who I am? Sorry to have kept you waiting. Let's go see King Edward. Are you coming? See the king, keep your wits about you. <laughs> Careful, he's really grabby. He looks so shabby. <laughs> like shabby. Uh, well, did you bring the crystal ring? No, I didn't. I couldn't find it. How dare you say such a thing to me? Wait, I just said... What? Guards, throw this impudent weasel in the prison. What? Hold on. Then go to Will's house and find the ring. Wait, no. Hey, you can't just wander up into my fucking place. Oh, shit. Ma'am, save me! Did you just say ma'am? Oh, fuck. Lady! <laughs> Lady, help! <laughs>